Hi, this is Kenneth, the owner builder, and we are here on a room addition kitchen remodel with a contractor and his brother, friend of ours. Hey, what are you doing here today? Hi, I'm Ben Penland, uh, license number 455908. I'm a California licensed building contractor, and this is my brother who's a licensed plumber. Hi, I'm Ken Penland with Penland Plumbing, and uh, that's California license number 883163, and we're going to Get rid of some of this old galvanized plumbing here that's finally come to the end of its life after 50 years and we're going to upgrade it and uh, just make it a whole lot better for the homeowner. So the first thing we did here today was we uh, brought the fine multi-master over here Which and we is, cut I'm away a cabinet. My little hand here. And you, uh, you, wanted to, you wanted to see this tool because uh, I had one of these and uh, we used it today. What would you think? Well, great. Worked slick. Uh, had to cut the face frame because we're leaving this cabinet and these were actually a one-piece cabinet. We had to remove this cabinet for what we're doing in this corner. And so we were able to cut the face frames, made a nice clean cut, just cut this cabinet right in half and pulled the old off. And uh, actually, I'm going to go buy one of these. So they're a slick tool. Took the same tool and cut the tile right here a nice clean join on the that outline line here so we're going to take this out and leave this tile without that damaging it. So what's going in this place in this kitchen guys? <laughs> well we're, we're going to put a, a stackable washer and dryer and that was the main reason why we had to take this cabinet out and it's going to go here where the old washing machine was and that's what caused all this damage to begin with. To do that we've got to completely do away with all that old plumbing and replumb it completely and do it correctly. Now you have that unit on site? Yeah, it's it's sitting outside. Okay. And, and Let's go take a look at that. Okay. It's a Kenmore, basically a sear model uh, uh, washing machine. Basically a full size, and then the, the and these are great for small areas. You know, I mean that's what we're doing here. She wanted to be able to have a washer and dryer in the same place. Now I got to tell you, I've never seen a home with a washing machine in the kitchen, but there was definitely no room for a dryer, and that's why we decided to go with this stackable unit. Any problems uh, in the installation of this unit, Kenny? Well, it'll be a little tricky in that the old plumbing was never vented correctly, and that's what caused all the problems. We're going to vent it correctly so the drain will run nice and free and fast, and there'll be no backups. Any uh, code uh, difficulties about something like this, uh, either pre or after? I don't believe so, huh? Fantastic. Well, you've done a lot of uh, remodeling on this little home, Benny. Uh, for instance, what have you done here? Well, last winter, we came in and re completely gutted her both bathrooms and redid those. And uh, we did that last winter, and now, and this is phase two, basically. We knew we were going to have to wait a little while and then start on the kitchen. Can you give any advice to people that want to do a remodeling such as this uh, due to disrepair? Well, <laughs> one thing I can tell you is if you can catch it before it gets into the, the, these, this uh, stage of dis, you know, of the disrepair, you're much better off. I, I noticed something right here on the kitchen. Let's jump in there real quick before we get out of here. Show me what's going on right here, Benny. Look at that. This, this, this is the overlayment of the old uh, wood subfloor. We peeled up these old, these old uh, vinyl tiles and we found that the termites have actually been working heavily on the overlayment. I'm hoping that, that when they built the house, they at least put tar paper under it between the two. So I'm hoping it didn't get into the subfloor, but we won't know that till we get into this further and remove this. But this is the kind of stuff that we, we like to catch. You know, I mean, I noticed this when I first looked that there was a couple of places showing. And I realized, you know what, this is probably worse than what we're looking at. And in fact, it is. So hopefully it hasn't completely got into the subfloor. It has completely destroyed the overlayment, and I'm hoping that tar paper might have uh, kept them up here. And how did your uh, bathroom remodels turn out? Well, they turned out great. Uh, you know, uh, it's uh, it, it's hard to to explain how much different they are because you know we did that last winter, and all you could see is the the finished product, but. When we first started, it was it quite was, a mess, huh? It was quite a, pro a project. Well, thanks for uh, t giving us a little tour of the house and some of the things that uh, you folks out there can do. And always uh, hire a licensed professional to do this. If it's a small job, if like uh, window retrofits or like for like, you can do them for, without a permit. And if you jump into it and you need the advice of a pro, they are there for you. Thanks, Kenny. Thank you. Thanks, Benny. Appreciate it. Take care.